I give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Amen. 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 And his goodness and his mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. Amen. Let us pray, God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, God. That is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. The word that can speak into our situations, speak into our issues. The word that gives us life. Feed us, God, now as only you can. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed us until we want no more. We need your word now, God. Speak, God, be your servant as only you can. These and all blessings back in the name of Jesus. So let every heart say amen. Amen. The book of Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15. So good to see all of you in the sanctuary today. And those who are looking by way of God's greeting. My mother knows it's here today. Amen. saying, send her away, for she cried after us. Mm. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right, all right. Then she came back mm. and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Mm. Mm -hmm. But he answered and said, it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. Mm. And she said, truth, Lord. Mm. Yet the dogs what you say? eat of the crumbs mm. <laughs> which fall from their master's table. Mm. And Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is your faith. My Lord. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. My Lord. You may be seated in the presence of God. God is a blessing to the reading of his word. Pick your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. A crumb from his hand is more than enough. What you say? A crumb from his hand is more than enough. Talk about faith that moves God. Mm. A faith that moves God. Does anyone in the sanctuary or on this live screen have a need in your life? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Does anyone have an expectation mm -hmm. from the Lord? Mm -hmm. Are you believing God for something? Mm -hmm. Because something in your life has to change. Mm -hmm. 
Does anyone have anything that you need from the Lord to do for you? Amen. I suspect that everyone under the sound of my voice has such a need. In fact, I would go a step further and say that most people listening to this word today have one or more major needs in our lives and you do not see how that need can be met. Some people are looking at devastating family problems. Some are looking at financial difficulty. Some are looking at their own souls and realizing that they're lost. Some are looking at disease and wondering what lies ahead. Some are having surgery soon and they have put it all in his hands. Some are looking at their parents and realizing they won't be here forever. I could stay there all day and not exhaust the list of problems that people are facing today. Somebody has a child that's sick. Somebody has a spouse that's sick. Somebody's going through divorce. Somebody's hurting over some things. It's a long list of problems that people are facing today. And in the midst of your problems, you need someone to help you. Can I get a witness? You need someone that you can turn to for your solution. You need God to work in your life. You don't need him to lift every burden, just the heaviest ones. You don't need him to move every mountain, just the highest ones. You don't need him to take you out of every test just to help you pass the hardest ones. Am I talking to someone this morning? Who am I talking to already? You don't need God to give you the whole loaf. That's right. That's right. You just need a crumb. Yeah. Come on, come on. Can I get a witness? Lord, if I can just get a crumb from your hand, amen. I don't need the whole enchilada. I don't need the whole nine yards. Can I get a witness? If I can just get a crumb from your table. Yes, yes, yes. That is the situation that we're looking at in our text today. Jesus is approached by a mother who is in a desperate situation. She needs something in her life. She comes to the Lord, and as she does, she's not asking for a whole loaf. She's just asking for a crumb. She knows that a little crumb is better than nothing. Can I get a witness? And this woman, this Canaanite woman, has a faith that moves God. And I, as I preach this morning, I want you to get something from her story. No matter what it is you think you need today, I'm here to tell you that God holds the key to it. No matter what your need is, God holds the key. And so I want to take this text and the situation of this poor woman, and I want to share a few thoughts that each of us can glean by. Because you see, the reason why she was okay with just a crumb and not the whole loaf. Because this Canaanite woman, this mother, she knew that the same ingredients that are in the loaf All right now. are also in the crumb. Come on. Right. Can I get a witness? Yeah. And I don't care if it's a crumb, but if it comes from God's hands, it's more than enough. Yes, it is. Let's examine this passage. 
this morning for just a minute and find the help that we need for our own lives today. <clears throat> the Bible said, then Jesus went north to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And a Gentile woman who lived there came to him, pleading. She said, have mercy on me, O son of David, for my daughter is possessed by a demon that torments her severely. It's odd, my brothers and sisters, for a Gentile woman, amen, to address Jesus as son of David. Because son of David depicts his Jewish lineage. And clearly the Gentile woman was not part of that lineage. But she's appealing, amen, to something that the church, the disciples, have a problem with. Because you see, the disciples were thinking that Jesus, amen, was just for the members of the church. All right. Mm. Mm. And not for outsiders. All right. Can I get a witness? All right, right. Okay. Well, she said, I know who you are. Uh -huh. And though I'm not a member here, come on, can I get a witness? And though I don't dress like y'all do, and though I don't look like y'all do, come on, somebody, I know who you are, and I need you in my life. Yeah. Jesus gave her no reply at first. It, the Bible says, not even a word. You, you ever felt as though God was ignoring you? Yes. You, you, you ever pleaded before God? And it seemed like uh, if it ain't one thing, it's another, and I, I keep going to God, amen. I'm trying to do it the way they tell me to do it. Can I get a witness? I'm calling the man, old son of David. Come on, help me, Holy Ghost. I'm coming to Jesus because they told me to take it to the Lord in prayer. But have you ever done that and it seemed like God wasn't even, was even actually ignoring you? And you got a real problem? And then, not only did Jesus not give her any reply, but his disciples urged him to send her away. Ignored by God, and the church won't accept you. What do you do? And she would not stop. I like this woman. Come on, somebody. I like her already. Because that would have just, a lot of us, that just would have chased all, all, all of us away, amen, as they ignore me. And, and the church don't really want me, because you can tell when folks don't want you. Because you're a little different. Can I get a witness? You talk a little different. You act a little different. Come on, somebody. Uh, some church have a way of, uh, you know, uh, putting people out. That's right. Come on, guys. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Come on, can I get a witness? Yeah. I can work with that a little bit, but I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in another sermon. Can I get a witness? But what I like about her is she didn't care. That's Come on. You see, you got to be able to push past things in order to get what you want from God. Can I get a witness? The folks who try to block you and stop you from getting what you need from the Lord. Amen. But when you have made up in your mind that uh, it's Jesus that can fix my problem and I'm coming to Jesus whether you like it or not. Can I get a witness? You got to get to that place in your faith that, amen, you better get out of my way. Amen. And if you come for me, you better bring lunch. Because first of all, disciples, I ain't chasing after you. I'm chasing after Jesus. Amen. 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 She's chasing after us, they told, they told Jesus. You, you, you don't come for the people in the church. 
You're here because you know who Jesus is. Okay. Come on, somebody. You're here because you know what he can do. You have a need that only Jesus can fulfill. Can we get over this? This is her situation. This is not the disciple situation. This is her situation. This is her need. Help me, Holy Ghost. Anybody know? Anybody have a need, amen, that maybe uh, other folks might not understand why you pray in the way you do and why you come to it and why you keep coming back? Can I get up with it? Why you keep crying? Why you keep your hands up? Why you keep worshiping? Because you have a need from the Lord. Am I talking to anybody here today? The folks got a nerve to try to, well, you know, she ain't like us. She ain't from us. And, uh, and then send her away. Then Jesus said to the woman, finally, he spoke something. He said, I was sent only to help God's lost sheep. The people of Israel. But she came again. And this time she worshipped him. Beating again. She just simply said, Lord, I think she put an emphasis on me. Mm. I think she put, she said it like this, Lord, help me. Help me. Amen. Thank you. Come on, somebody. Amen. I know I don't, I, I, I know I'm not, I'm not a member. Come on, somebody. I know I ain't a member of this church, the little church you got here, Jesus, with your little disciples and everything. I know I'm not a member there. I know that. I don't know the, the, the traditions and the rituals. I don't even have the same clothes these folks got. Yeah. But I need you mm -hmm. to help me. Come on. Help I don't know nothing about the rules. You know, it was it was it was it was not uh, uh, a religious uh, allowability for a woman to come and be in a rabbi's presence like. If they weren't from the house of Israel. And even from the house of Israel, the women had to go through their husband in order to come to a rabbi, and they certainly couldn't touch him. But I'm here to say that when you have a need, I don't know what the rules are. Yeah. All I know okay. is that I have a need. Right. Come on, I don't know how to say it, I don't know where to say it. I don't know when to stand. I don't know when to lay down. I don't know when to run. I don't know when to lead. I don't know when to come. I don't know none of that stuff. Come on, come on, come on, give a minute. But what I do know is that I have a need. And she was specific about it. She said, it ain't even for me. It's for my child. with what seemed like finality in his voice. Look at the lady he said, it isn't right to take food from the children and throw it to the dogs. All right, all right. I could, I, I could picture that in my mind, even from a non-religious sort of a way. I could picture, you know, when we used to have family get-togethers, uh, we had always had a little table off to the side where the children could sit. Uh -huh. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, but they, they didn't get like what we got. They got, they got, they ate. <laughs> they, had, they had, they were eating at a little birthday place that y'all had still from the last birthday for your kid. They, yeah. Yeah. they had plastic toys. They had to sit at that little table. They were like a little kid's table. Amen. Amen. And, and, and they got like kind of in my house, you know, my uncles and my aunts would come over and these family gatherings, and, and they got they played first. And then the kids would get, you know. And you could not complain. <laughs> come on, somebody. About what you got. Mommy you said kids got all to be seen and not heard. <laughs> and not heard. <laughs> Amen. But you had to feed them. <laughs> Can I get a witness? 
Y'all little baby kids, y'all don't deserve it. No. Well, sit down and get you a plate, amen. And I'll tease you to know, spit it out. Come on and eat. And eat all of it. Can I get a witness? Don't throw nothing away.
And see, today, church, the church has tried to put themselves in place of God. Not one of you here today, amen, is coming for church. You're coming for God. Because if the truth be told, this building ain't the church anyway. You're the church. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Mm. Let me leave that alone. I'll get back to that in another song. Come on, way to pastor. Jewish culture prohibits Jews from mingling with or even interacting with Gentiles. Most especially women. Yet, here was a Gentile woman who overcame ridicule and possible rejection just so that she could get Jesus to heal her daughter who was possessed by a demon that tormented her. Although Jesus didn't reply at first, the woman kept urging and pressing on despite the disciples, despite them urging Jesus to send her away. And in the end, Jesus granted her request because her faith moved him. How about you? Would you endure all sorts of possible ridicule and opposition? even from family, even from friends, and even from other Christians, just so that you could humbly talk to the Lord to help you in your need? Celebrate our independence. 
That's right. That's right. Amen. You ready to witness? Amen. Amen. We celebrated today, I, I guess. Yes. <laughs> it wasn't even in, in, in 1863 when Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. It wasn't even then we was free. That's right. The Jews right. change happened two years later. Amen. Because Amen. the Amen. still wouldn't let us go. Amen. That's right. So the first obstacle she had to overcome was racism. Yeah. That's right. Because when the disciples seen and heard this Gentile Canaanite woman calling out to their, their Messiah, they reacted by telling Jesus, send her away. They wanted nothing to do with her. Can I get a witness? And I am confused about uh, uh, Christians who are racist. That's right. Help me, Holy Ghost. How could you say you love God who you've never seen and hate your brother and sister who you see every day? Can I get a witness? Do you know that most of the clan members were church members? But she overcame it. That's right. Come on, can I get a witness? Yeah. In their eyes, she was a Canaanite woman. And that was enough to justify them for not caring about her at all. And she was a woman. So this woman had two strikes against her from the very start. Can I get a witness? Yeah. I wish I had somebody knew what I was talking about. Black and a woman, they got two strikes. Can I get a witness? What I love about this Canaanite woman is that she did not care. Can I get a witness? I got to get to Jesus because the same Jesus that you pray for you is the same Jesus for me. Can I get a witness? He made me a Canaanite person. She had to overcome racism. But she also had to overcome religion. Came to Jesus and called out to him, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. She had no right to come to Jesus through the door of Judaism. She was not a member of their church. Somebody say their church. She was a Gentile. And Jesus gave her this response. He answered her not. But when you need God to do something really for you in your life, yes. come on. you will overcome religion. I need to, get, to get nobody's approval. Amen. I don't need anybody in here approval to worship the Lord the way I worship him. I come as I am. Help me, Holy Ghost. I got, I got scars, I got wounds, come on somebody. I done been through something, help me Holy Ghost. My daughter been tormented. I'm going through something every day. And you want to come in there and tell me about what the rules are? Can, can I get a witness? Look, I say it like this, to hell with the rules. Help me go, send them back to hell where they came. Because God says, come unto me all ye that labor and are heaven laden. The reason with most, the problem with most churches today is that you're too religious and you don't have any relationship with Jesus. But when you know Jesus for yourself, when you know who brought you, when you know who picked you up, when you know who made a way out of no way, when you know for yourself, look at somebody say, I'll worship with the way I want to worship. I shout the way I want to shout. I dress the way I want to dress.
Then he tells us his whole purpose in coming to this world was to reach the lost sheep of Israel. And when she worshiped him, Jesus tells her that she is a dog and does not deserve the children's bread. The church rejected her. And it now appears that Jesus is rejecting her too. You want, you want me to tell you what made the difference here? She took Jesus, watch this sister, huh? She took Jesus from religious Jesus to Savior. You got to get Jesus out of religion and bring him to Savior. Can I get a witness? Because when we keep Jesus in religion, then he's our Jesus and he's nobody else's Jesus. Can I get a witness? Oh, but thank you, thank you, thank you that uh, when she was rejected, it did not stop her. Because rejection in Jesus is not rejection like we know it. Rejection is really redirection. There are times when God wants to know how bad do you really want it. Are you going to let church people run you away? Are you going to let, come on somebody, religious folks run you away? Because you ain't got the right clothes and you ain't got the right hairstyle. Come again. Are you going to let religious people run you away? Because you got a couple of tattoos. Can I get a witness? And you got a, 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 a past that maybe not like their past. Can I get a witness? Because you done been through something. Are you going to let religious people run you away? Some of us are hiding, amen, because we trying to keep religious folks happy and gain the approval of religious folks. But if the truth be told, can I get a witness? Religious folks got a past just like you. They just better at hiding than you are. But when you need Jesus to do something for you, when you need the Lord to make a way out of nowhere, when you need the Lord to deliver you, when you need help from your pain, uh, nobody but Jesus. Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, nobody. 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 It was redirection. Because when man closes one door, another door will open. Can I get a witness? And the reason why you can't see the door that God just opened because you're still too busy staring at the window that God has just closed. Uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, he closed that window uh, so that your face can go to another level. Uh, it wanted to stop you. Uh, it, wanted to, it was there to let you see how bad do you want it. Stop somebody high five and say, how bad do you want it? Come on, stop playing with me. How bad do you want it? How much sickness have you been? How bad do you want it? Well, I dare somebody to cry out. And don't let the people tell you be quiet. Cry out. I'm here for you. I'm here for the Lord. Look at somebody and say, cry, baby, cry. Run, baby, run. Shout, baby, shout. Whatever you want, you can do it. Do it, baby. Shout the Lord. Lead you. Shout the Lord. Lead you. Shout the Lord. Lead you. Shout the Lord. Do what you gotta do. Uh, run like you gotta run. Uh, but you know the Lord can do it. Uh, so we do it. Uh, and if the Lord will do it. Uh,
She was a member of a despised and rejected race. These religious men did not seem to care about her or her child or her situation. It must appear to her that her situation was hopeless. Can I preach like I should? Some of us are looking at the same obstacles today. Yes. You might be a lost person and you know that you need Jesus. That's right. But you feel like you have no right to come to him. All right. All right. I got too many tattoos. <laughs> I've been in too many relationships. All right. Come on, somebody. Amen. Uh, I don't think like a lot of them church folk think. You know, you have haters. Yes. Right. You have discovered that religion will not work. Because oh. you done tried to dress it up, but it didn't help. You joined an auxiliary and a ministry, but it didn't help. Come on. You sat where they told you to sit, All right. but it didn't help. All right. You said amen when the preacher told you to say amen, but it didn't help. When they sang that favorite song, you stood up on your feet like everybody else, but it didn't help. Ah, uh, you have discovered that religion doesn't really work. You have experienced the rejection of the religious people around you because you don't sound like them and you don't look like them, can I get a witness? And Amen. you come from the other side of the tracks. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. You might not have the college education that you were supposed to have. Right. You might have been uh, in a bad marriage that you had to get out of. Right. You might have experience with a little drugs and a little alcohol. You might have spent too long in the club. Can I get away with it? You might even have a same-sex attraction. You're just a little different from everybody else. Have you been ever caught everything for a child of God? Can I get away with it? It does not seem that you fit in anywhere. It does not seem that you fit in in their church. Can I get a witness? Yet you still want to see your life change. Help me, Holy Ghost. Am I talking to anybody here? If you do, let me tell you, you need to come to Jesus while he may be found. You might feel like giving up, but come to Jesus. Let me encourage you today that God's silence is not an indication of God's unwillingness to help you. What obstacles are you facing today? You need to keep on praying. You need to keep on praising. And you need to keep on coming back. One of these whole days, everything is going to be all right. We can may endure for a night. But joy, 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 comes in the morning. I believe you have that joy. Comes in the morning. Can I preach like I'm feeling? To approve for my iniquity and the chastisement of my peace is upon his shoulders. And with his stripes, I'm healed. He died that I might live. He died that I might praise him. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Anybody here want a crumb that falls on the table? I don't need the whole thing. 
Everything is all right. 